where I've been. <laughs> well, actually, it's just Nordstrom's. I haven't been to actually a Chanel store, but I went to Nordstrom's yesterday because I've heard amazing things about this foundation by Chanel called Vita Lumiere. And what I struggle with is I struggle with dry skin. Um, I like the Makeup Forever foundation, but I don't I don't feel like it feels good on my skin all day and it doesn't keep, um, it's, I don't know, I, I think it gets flaky in spots on me. Um, the Match Master, I don't like, the MAC Match, Match Master, I don't like the finish of as much as I like the Makeup Forever HD. So I was kind of stuck with a, I don't know, I, I, needed a, I need to find like the perfect foundation. Um, if I get, if this doesn't work out, then my next step is trying to steal out one. Um, but, um, so I went to Nordstrom's and um, I met this fantastic girl. And now I've got to find her name. Oh, boy, what was her name? Um, goodness gracious. Uh, we'll find it when we open this. Um, but she was this amazing girl and she said, okay, let me uh, color match you. So, um, she put on this astonishingly beautiful um, Chanel Vita Lumiere. Um, I misunderstood. I thought the Vita Lumiere um, was for like um, uh, oily skin and the Vita Lumiere Aqua would be for um, people who need extra moisture. That sounded like it would make sense to me but uh, no <laughs> the aqua is for people with oily skin and the the regular Vita Lumiere is the moisture rich radiance fluid makeup okay so this is running right so this is the Vita Lumiere Moisture Rich Radiance Fluid Makeup. I don't even know what it cost. I'm serious. I don't know because I end up getting so many things and I frankly haven't looked at the receipts since then. Um, it has an SPF of 15. It's a Moisture Rich Radiance Fluid Makeup. Um, and you're supposed to apply it either with your fingertips or with a makeup brush because you're not supposed to use a sponge because, excuse my phone, because it's so moisture rich, the sponge will sort of suck up the moisture. And one pump, it's a pump, which, yeah. Um, one pump is pre measured to be enough for your face. I'm wearing it today. This is in Soft Bisque. They have three um, sort of warmths to their foundations they have a cool, a neutral, and a warm, I think it's called. So I'm, in, in, I'm a cool. Um, I will probably get this in one tone lighter too because we're going into winter. It's snowing today. Yay! You want to see outside? I'll show you after. Um, no, I'll show you right now. So, yeah, it's snowing outside. Okay. Hopefully this will come back to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so I bought that. When she sat me down to color ma uh, ma ma match me, and apply the makeup. Of course, you know, as always, they um, want to put everything on you and they want to sell you everything. She put, started by putting on the uh, Lime Repair Day Cream. It comes in a jar. I have a sample. You want to know why I have a sample? I have a sample because the jar is $127. Are you kidding me? I have to tell you though that when she put this on my face, it is silk like. It is like putting silk on your hand. It was beautiful stuff, and I'm so happy that she gave me the sample. That's the Ultra Correction Line Repair Cream. And she recommended that because I have the issues with starting to get a few lines around my eyes and stuff. So, I will use it. I Seriously, can I have uh, a day cream that's $127? Seriously? 
really even though it feels like astonishingly amazing not right now because I just opened another thing of moisturizer um, which I will go over in my um, skincare routine date when I update it um, but um, I can't justify buying $127 worth when I just opened a new jar but I love it so I am going to use the um, sample the other thing she put on my face before she put on the um, before she even put on the foundation is also in here um, no, that's the, um, and it is the eye cream ultra correction lift um, for total eye lift for the eye again I didn't buy the skincare the prices were frightening <laughs> I don't remember how much the eye lift was but I, I will definitely use the sam sample I loved it um, it felt so good so that's the skincare she gave me and of course I have the whole book here on Chanel the skincare difference bringing together the purity of nature and the power of science to create the beauty of Chanel skincare so it's a lovely beautiful packet um, telling you all about the fantastically expensive skincare you can buy from Chanel. <sighs> I need to be just a little richer. Um, and then we talked about, you know, I have issues with redness around my nose, and I have not used this today. I have used my normal HD micro perfecting um, green uh, primer. Um, which I feel like lets me down a little around my nose sometimes I'm still a bit red sometimes when I look on videos um, around my nose and um, she was out of the primer but she gave me a little jar of the primer and it's white um, and I was like don't I need the green and she's like no no not for Chanel it doesn't come as green it's like this beautiful silky amazing silky primer and she would just put it around my like this area here um, so since she didn't have any she ordered it up for me so <laughs> that is part of my haul I just have the tiny little example to show you I should have used it today to show you but I didn't want to open too many things before doing my haul video and um, so she put some other stuff on too, of course. Excuse my phone. Let me turn it down. There. Okay. Um, of course, she wouldn't let me go, but with just, you know, just, uh, just foundation on. <laughs> so she wrapped up this lovely thing of what she used on my face. And Jargo? Is that her name? Jarga? Narga? Can you read that? Hmm. So she put what skincare she used on the back. She circled them. They're so ultra expensive. Oh my god, the feeling. Oh my god, the feeling. Okay, so she used the line repair and then she showed me sort of what she did on my face. By the way, the lip gloss, which I did not buy. I'm really kind of regretting not buying. But I do like my Revlon Super Lustrous, which I'm wearing today. So, yeah, but it was amazing. Shine Boy um, in Rouge Coco, which was like a balm with color in it, lip balm with color. And she used uh, some eyeshadow and she taught me some things um, for my eyeshadow um, and that I, some tricks that, you know, I have kind of the same issue as Asians do. Um, with my eyelid, um, there's a lot here over my crease, but like nothing sort of under my crease, and it sort of hangs a little. So she taught me um, really how to go about sort of um, dealing with that, and she showed me, and she did it, and, and um, I I was going to take the time to do it today, but I have a lot going on today, so um, I didn't want to take the time to actually play with it today. I will though later in the week and you'll see me in a video and I might have done it and I might look like I've been punched in the eye because that's what happens when I do my eyes. Okay, um, but I did 
buy some of two of the other things that she put on my face. So one was the blush and um, I have been using the HD Micro Perfecting blush, cream blush um, in peach, peachy pink. And I have just bought the Tarte Amazonian Clay Doll Face, which is very pink. Um, but she put on this, oh my god, look, it's in a little velvet box. And um, it's a different color from anything I have. And frankly, it is stunning. I mean, oh my god, look at this beautiful box. It's a tiny little blush brush, of course. I don't know why they put them in there. No one ever uses them. And this is the color. It's Orchid Rose. And I don't think you can actually see it um, on this because it's so fresh. Um, but I'm going to put it on my hand here. That won't swatch it. I'll use my finger. Um... So, this is the color on my hand, and it, it's amazing. It's such a beautiful color. It's called Orchid Rose. Really, really, really pretty, and I'm really afraid it's not going to show up on camera, but there's a shimmer in this that is just amazing, like just gorgeous shimmer. And I said that to her in the store. I said, oh my God, look at that shimmer. It probably showed up under like store lights better than here. I'm sitting in natural light right now. So it probably showed up better on that. Um, but it has these shimmery sparkles in it. Um, and I said to her, I said, oh my God, look at that shimmer. It's so amazing. And she said, yeah, um, Chanel uses crushed pearls in their blush. Crushed pearls. Holy hell, I'm going to be wearing crushed pearls on my cheeks. But I can't wait to try it um, tomorrow and show you sort of what, what it looks like. It's so beautiful, like just so pretty. Um, so I couldn't leave without using that. See, I'm looking at myself in the mirror now because I love this foundation so much. So at this point, I'm telling her, God, my foundation just feels so good. It just, this Vita Lumiere, it just feels really nourishing on your skin. It feels like you're almost wearing nothing but sort of silk on your face. And I just love the finish to it. I really, really do. And I was telling her this and she goes, once she goes Chanel, you never go back. And I'm like terrified. I'm like, I can't go Chanel? Like for everything? Are you kidding me? First of all, the cost is like ridiculous. But like, if you go Chanel, why would you try cheap ass stuff? And that's sort of the fun, isn't it? To try cheap stuff. Um, like, I have this expensive Chanel at home. Why would I go and um, put, you know, pixie on my face? Um, because it's fun, I guess. But, but then, you know, then I'm looking at a whole level of costs different. You know, you're buying expensive Chanel and buying cheap stuff. This is amazing though. I have to say this is like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever felt on my skin. It really is. Um, and I got one last thing. And that is, we talked about concealer and me. And um, because I have a little bit of fine line issues and because I have quite puffy under eyes sometimes, she suggested not getting... Um, you know, a, a, a cakey sort of concealer, but using a um, highlighting face pen. So this is a highlighting. And Goss Makeup Artist has mentioned the same, and he recommends for people like that to use the Bobbi Brown um, highlighting something or other. <laughs> um, I'll put the info down there. And um, it makes sense to me. And she put this on my face. And so... So I come home and I look at my makeup drawer and from a purchase like two years ago, I have a Dior pen kind of the same <laughs> that I've never used because I never understood what to do with it. But this girl was like so good at showing me what to do with, um, 
with the product. So this is a highlighting face pen and it is like this and what you do is you put it um, you can use it all sorts of places. You can highlight your cheekbones, you can highlight your nose, you can highlight all sorts of things. But she said to make a C in the inside corner of my eye. And today I've done it with the Dior pen. I kind of like it. I haven't done any other eyeshadow or anything, obviously. I haven't contoured my face, but um, and my hair seems a little dark today. I don't know. Um, drove droopy today. I don't know what happened. I used, yeah. Um, so, but this is the highlighting pen in beige rose number 30 and I can't wait to use that either um, so that's my Chanel haul yes it was a lot of money but I didn't buy the $127 face cream <laughs> ah she was so nice you know um, she was so nice and she was really good she's a really good sales girl um, I, I really liked her and she, she made me look really beautiful yesterday. So, um, yeah. So that's my Chanel haul. I'm going to keep my little Chanel bag because I love Chanel. I'm, I'm like a Chanel girl at heart, I think. Okay, so we'll see how I feel about this a little later on you know when I've used it for a while and see if I actually do like it as much as I think I do and if I actually do want to get it in the in the you know one step lighter as well for, for winter so um, that's my Chanel haul <laughs> hope you liked it talk to you later bye bye